Hey guys, welcome to Smoking Steve's. Today we're going to be doing a product review on the Kick-Ass Basket. Uh, before, before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Chad. He's the uh, designer and owner of the Kick-Ass Basket and uh, his wife Tracy, who is the CFO. Uh, I want to give them a big shout out for uh, providing this uh, basket to me for the purpose of uh, doing a review. So. Uh, now this basket, uh, you can, uh, they have them for the Acorn Char Griller, uh, Big Green Egg, Kamada Joe, the Primo, uh, Pit Boss, uh, several different grills. So I'm going to be putting a link at the end of the video uh, in the comment section uh, where you can go and check it out, see if your grill's on the list, and uh, you know, check the pricing out, whatever. But uh, we're going to do a review on it. Uh, let me show it to you. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, it's a uh, stainless steel basket and it's made for uh, holding your charcoal uh, briquettes or lump charcoal I prefer to use lump myself uh, I never use the briquettes but it'll hold either one and uh, what we're going to do today is uh, go out to the big green egg uh, that's what I cook with and uh, we're going to show you uh, what I have to do to uh, prepare it in between cooks uh, get it ready for the next cook uh, with and without the basket and uh, we're going to show you the benefits of having this guy and uh, We're going to go out to the grill and uh, check it out. So come with me Okay, we're out here at the uh, big green egg now and uh, We're in between cooks and in order for me to get ready for the next cook I need there's some air holes down in the bottom of here and I need to uh, clean that out so we can get more air in here uh, to light our fire. So I need to take a, one of these guys here and uh, just scrape in the bottom here. Uh, I think you can see some of these holes down in the bottom. Uh, we need to get those kind of cleaned out so we can get a good airflow down in there. So this is what I got to do between the, every cook. Scrape that out. And, uh, you know, even after I'm done, I'm not really sure that those uh, holes are clear. Uh, if you guys have uh, problems uh, uh, getting your uh, temperatures up uh, to 450, 500, uh, 6, 700, uh, whatever you cook at, if you're having problems uh, getting those temperatures up, uh, it's more than likely uh, you're not getting enough air in here and uh, that could be one of the culprits. Uh, there's also uh, air holes on the sides of these things. On the sides of the fire, fire, fire box here, there's little holes. So uh, those have to be pretty much cleared out too. So this is what we've got to do uh, without the basket. Now I'm going to get this uh, lump out of here. Go ahead and put it in the, get it out of here and I'm going to put the basket in and uh, show you the comparison. Okay, as you can see, uh, I got all the uh, lump charcoal picked out of here, and I had to do that by hand, by the way, uh, which is a little messy and uh, takes a little bit of time. But uh, now you can see all the uh, air holes down here in the bottom uh, that need to be uh, clear in order for you to get air to get combustion. So uh, and then there's also uh, holes here on the side of the firebox uh, that needs to be clear. Uh, so uh, that's what you're looking at and uh, that's why we have to take that ash tool and scrape the lump and try to clear those holes out and even when you do that uh, you're not even sure uh, you know if it's open so uh, let me show you this basket now and what you can do and this is what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and take this bottom thing out and that's going to leave that whole bottom open Wow, look at all that ash. I need to get busy and get that cleaned out. Uh, and you can take the uh, shop vac or whatever and uh, get that cleaned out. But let's go ahead and put this basket in. Okay, that sits in there like so. And uh, right away you can see a, a big difference in the bottom here. You don't have that bottom grate in there anymore. And this is all open in between these uh, rungs and you had, can get all that air flow up through the bottom and also there's an air gap on the sides here uh, which will leave these holes 
on the sides open for air to get in here. So uh, it's a pretty good setup. Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, go ahead and put the uh, charcoal in the basket and uh, show you what we can do with that. Okay, we got our uh, lump charcoal in our uh, basket now, and uh, we got it pretty much up to the top of the basket. Uh, you could put a little bit more in here if you wanted to, but uh, this is what I put in today uh, just to show you. Uh, then when you light your fire, you'd want to light it at the top here and uh, get it going. But uh, with the basket in there, as you remember, uh, the bottom's open. We took that bottom grate out, so we're getting plenty of air from the bottom and we're getting plenty of air from the sides. So uh, this baby ought to uh, really heat up quick and uh, get up to temperature for you real quick. So, uh, uh, okay, uh, let's just pretend like we uh, just finished the cook and it's the next day and uh, we're gonna cook something else. So we need to clean the holes out, right? Well, not anymore, not with this basket. All you have to do is lift this basket up you know, give it some shakes. Ash and stuff is going to fall out into the bottom. That, or uh, get a, get you a trash can and do it over a trash can, or uh, even a plastic bag or something like that. You, know, uh, you want to make sure if you're going to do it in a trash or a plastic bag, you want to make sure you know the, there's no heat, uh, there's no flames. Uh, you know, it's completely out. You don't want to catch anything on fire. So. Uh, uh, that's it, and uh, you know if if you happen to tailgate or go camping and you take your uh, grill with you, uh, as you know, it, it takes forever to cool off. But with this, you could get a, you know, have your gloves on, maybe a couple hooks, and lift that basket out and uh, dump that uh, those coals into a bucket of water, and leave the lid open, and it'll cool off a lot quicker for you. Okay, guys, uh, there it is, uh, stainless steel uh, kick-ash basket. Uh, you can see uh, why they name it, named it kick-ash, right? Uh, saves you a lot of time, uh, a lot less hassle, uh, a lot quicker. Uh, you can get up to temperatures quicker, uh, get the grill hotter. Uh, I think you're really going to be pleased with it. Uh, you can lift, lift that uh, charcoal out of there with the basket and... Uh, Take your shop vac and clean that ash out uh, in between cooks. Uh, but when you do that, you want to make sure there's nothing hot in there. Uh, you don't want to start any fires or anything like that. Uh, you got to make sure everything's uh, nice and cooled down. So uh, I'm going to have a link uh, in the comment section to the website. I'm sure to check that out. Uh, see if your grill's in there. Check the pricing out. And uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, share this video. Uh, we're going to have a lot of product reviews coming up and uh, going to be doing a lot of smoking and grilling on the egg and uh, going to have a lot of recipes. So uh, thanks for stopping by.